Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing, finally, my winter capsule wardrobe. Um, at the time I'm recording this, I've been doing it for a little over two weeks. I think by the time this is up, it, I will have completed my first month of the capsule wardrobe. I wanted to just kind of show you how I put together the capsule, how I did it in a colorful way, because my style is really colorful and a lot of capsule wardrobes are a lot more neutral. Um, and then just like how it's going so far, some of the outfits that came out of it everything like that. So first of all, if you haven't heard of the capsule wardrobe, just to fill you in, basically the concept is that you choose a limited number of pieces for a specific amount of time. So the most like basic capsule wardrobe that I've heard of people doing is choosing 30 items to wear over the course of three months. But most of the capsule wardrobes that I've seen tend to be a lot more neutral. Um, so like, you know, blacks, whites, jeans which is really fun i love that style but lately i've been really feeling the bright colors like everything that i've been wearing is very vibrant and very um yeah just colorful so i thought i'd be kind of bored going to neutral and also i'm pretty particular about my outfits for photos and the colors that are on my instagram feed and all of that so i didn't really want to give that up just for the sake of having a capsule wardrobe so i made a few little changes and i wanted to show you guys what i did to make a capsule wardrobe that works for a colorful style. The other challenge that I was facing with this capsule wardrobe is that because it's over winter, it's also over like a lot of the holidays. So I'm gonna be traveling between a couple different climates. So I tried to fit in capsule wardrobe, limited number of pieces, but still colorful and works for cold or warm. <laughs> so I thought it was gonna be really difficult, but it actually worked out. I ended up with, I think I just counted 37 pieces instead of 30, but honestly, like I could see 30 being totally fine. I could, I could definitely take seven items out of here and have it still work, but I just didn't want to like limit myself for no reason, I guess, if it didn't seem like a big deal to include seven more because I'm not trying to be super strict. I'm just trying to have my closet become a little bit more reasonable because before this, I would just have clothes all over the place. I just couldn't, like I didn't really have enough storage for them and so they would just end up all over the floor. I just felt like my closet was constantly such a mess. So that's kind of what inspired me to try this and I think it'll be good. So I started the capsule about two and a half weeks ago. I started it right at the beginning of December. And when I first started, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so repetitive. Like I'm used to kind of wearing like a tool skirt and then a poofy jacket and then like, I don't know, all the stuff. And so far I've worn a lot of jeans and t-shirt, which is a little bit different for me. But to be honest, it's been kind of refreshing. I'm like, oh, this is such a simple outfit. I just threw on jeans and a t-shirt and I feel comfy and I feel like I look good. So it's been kind of fun to go back to a more simple style compared to kind of the statement frilly fancy pieces that I've been wearing a lot before that. And I would say as a whole, it's been a little bit easier than I thought at the beginning because there is quite a bit of variety you can get from 37 different pieces. I intentionally chose these 37 pieces for the next three months. Every item is something that I love, that I feel really comfortable in. So I don't have nearly as many of those days where I try something on, if any, where I try something on and I'm like, oh, it doesn't really fit or it doesn't really go or it's not that comfortable. The like guy really tried to just choose pieces that were super comfortable. So actually the week before I started the capsule wardrobe, I was, I tried starting to wear some of those items just to make sure that everything was good. And there were a couple items that I planned on including that I ended up not including because they just didn't fit me that well and I realized I would never wear them. Hardest part has been keeping up with the laundry because normally I would just kind of like go through all my clothes and then do laundry. And I guess I'm doing the same thing only I'm not going through nearly as many clothes so it feels like I have to do laundry a lot more often. That's been probably the hardest part is just keeping up with that. Um, so a couple tips if you are trying to create your own capsule wardrobe and you also like colorful or just not too simple and too neutral of a style. Number one thing is that out of all of those 37 pieces, I only have I think three items that are patterned, maybe four. The rest of them are all solid colors. Some of them have a little texture, but for the most part they're all just solid color pieces and that way I can still have lots of color but they're a little bit more likely to go together so if I had you know a green striped shirt and a 
blue polka dot skirt that's harder to put together than solid green and solid blue there's probably like one or two items in there that are super statement that only go with like one or two other items but for the most part with solid colors it's pretty interchangeable another tip is to kind of choose a palette so i didn't do this super intentionally like i didn't start with like a mood board and a palette but i just started with maybe three or four items that i was like i already know i love these and i'm gonna wear them all the time and they were like statement bright colors so i kind of tried to plan anything else that was colorful around those to make sure they would go with that if that makes sense i didn't plan a color palette per se but i did start with some pieces that i knew i wanted to include and then i just went with that palette i guess third tip i would say is to make sure you include some neutral pieces so even if you want to have lots of colorful things it's a lot easier to pair a bright colorful thing with a neutral thing than a bright colorful thing with another bright colorful thing i made sure to have like a denim skirt some jeans a couple white tops black leggings black jeans um, so those are some of the neutral things that would literally go with any of the colorful things and that really helps So every day I could have a colorful outfit because I have one neutral thing to pair with it tip number four I would say is Just get rid of everything else that's not in your capsule So when I first kind of put the capsule wardrobe together, but I hadn't gotten rid of the rest of my clothes yet It still was just complete chaos. I just had too much stuff by the way recognize that that is fully like a privileged problem to have I'm very grateful to be able to be even making a video about a capsule wardrobe where I'm trying to narrow down my clothes. I mean, that is crazy. But yeah, it really helped me once I got rid of the rest of my clothes besides the capsule. So I have one bin, one of those plastic bins saved of clothes that I didn't want to get rid of but I didn't want to include in the capsule. So those are things that I might wear like in the spring and summer when it's warmer or just things that I was like a little too attached to and I was like, I don't know, I might want to wear this in the future so i just saved one bin of clothes like that and then i have my like active wear like fitness and lounge stuff and then i have like practical things like winter coats and you know warm stuff so anything that i didn't really count as part of an outfit outfit like for style i guess i still kept some of those things but i just have basically one other bin of like cute stuff <laughs> i would say my last tip is just to try out different outfits ahead of time so there's like a couple things that I got for the capsule that I thought would be really cute together but then when I actually tried them together it looked really bad so if you kind of plan out your whole capsule and envision it but don't actually try stuff on together then you might start it and be like what was I thinking these don't actually work and now you're down three outfits that you were planning on or something like that so just make sure that you've really thought through every outfit and kind of looked at the combinations that you could make and make sure that you love it because if you don't love it you're still going to be frustrated when you're getting dressed and that is kind of the opposite of the point of a capsule wardrobe so i got gifts from a couple different brands but the main place that i did most of my shopping was at crossroads trading I've done a video with them before in the past where my husband nathan shopped for me and my friend tiffany and her boyfriend quibus he shopped for her so i'll link that below you can check it out it was a really fun time some of the pieces I included here are actually things that he picked out for me in that video. Um, but I'm happy to be partnering again with Crossroads. And so I did a bunch of shopping at a bunch of different Crossroads locations to find a lot of these pieces that I'm going to show you. If you haven't checked them out before, they ha it's kind of like high-end secondhand. So their items are used, but they only accept items that are in really good condition. And a lot of them, at least that I found, were like nice designer things. So a lot of the stuff that I got from Crossroads is originally from... Madewell, J. Crew, they had a bunch of Levi's, like really nice brands like that. Um, but you can get them for so much cheaper at Crossroads, which is awesome. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm j I'll show you the outfits on the rack and then I'm gonna try some of them on to show you. I feel like it would probably just take me way too long to try on every possible outfit combination. But what I'm gonna do is take pictures of each of the items, just like on a white background, and put them together in Photoshop with a bunch of different combinations to show you how many outfits you can get out of 37 pieces because it's a lot then i'll show you some of my favorite outfits on me right now i think that's pretty much it i will just show you the outfits now okay so these are all 37 items they fit on this one clothing rack which i just think is awesome i have them separated by item here are the t-shirts and tank tops so i have i think it's eight of these i've got this striped crop tee this white puff sleeve cute thing let me show you this 
I thought this was so cute. I'm gonna wear this all the time. This tank top, which I thought was a nice basic tee. I got it from Crossroads, but it's originally from Banana Republic. So this is the type of thing that I got a lot of where the shape and the pattern is obviously still very basic, but then it's super bright colored so I can have that pop of color and not be too neutral. So I have a lot of items kind of like that. This is again a neon. I'm really into neon right now. Hopefully you guys aren't weirded out, but um, neon sequin tank top. This used to be my sister's. This is just a basic yellow tee. Got it from Crossroads, originally from Madewell. Okay, this sweater is from Angel Eye. They're a really cool, kind of unique boutique. They have a lot of beaded dresses. I love working with Angel Eye. They have such cute stuff. There's a couple other things in here from them. And this sweater is so warm. It is the warmest, coziest sweater I've ever owned. So I've been wearing this a lot and it's a cute like off-shoulder thing. Or you can wear it kind of like a cowl neck. Oh, it's falling off. But I'll show you guys this one on because it's really cute. This yellow sweater you've definitely seen if you follow me on Instagram. I've been wearing it all the time. It is Jacqueline DeYoung. I got this at Crossroads and I'm obsessed. I think yellow is just my thing right now. This one's just a basic black tee from Old Navy. I've had that for years, like since I was like 12 probably. And this is a cute little vintage-y looking dress that I also found at Crossroads. Thought that was cute. I have a lot of holiday events coming up. So I that's why I have so many dresses in here especially. I love wearing dresses all the time, but some of these are a little bit fancier and that's why. This dress is from Clad and Cloth and they gifted that to me for this video. And so it's just like a simple slip dress. I thought that this would be really cute with a graphic tee, like a white graphic tee underneath it, but I ended up not being able to find one in time for this video. So um, I might still look for one and add it to this. Otherwise, it's also really cute with just a sweater on top of it. Like I'm wearing this white sweater right now. And I think that'd be cute on top of that. This is another dress from Angel Eye Fashion. They're the ones I was talking about with all those pretty beaded dresses. I love this one so much. I got this from my friend Molly, and I have another beaded dress from them. They just have so many cute stuff. Then you can't forget the classic tool skirt. If you guys know about my fancy casual um, looks, this is something I wear all the time when I'm going for that vibe. So it's just a tool skirt. It's from Yes Style, and I love wearing these with just like a graphic tee or a basic t-shirt or something like that. Then we just have a basic denim skirt, and then we have this like midi length sequin skirt. This is from Yes Style. This one is a skirt from Crossroads. I really liked the bright pop of color. I feel like this color is kind of a theme. And then this one's from Crossroads also. And then this skirt is also from Clad and Cloth, which I mentioned earlier. They gifted this to me, and I was really excited to try some leopard print because I feel like I'm seeing that kind of all over but I haven't really tried it until this. And I've already worn it a few times and really love this one. It fits really well. These, I don't normally hang these, but I just thought it'd be easier for the video, but these are just basic black leggings. They get a lot of lint, so it's kind of gross. Don't look at that. And here's just your basic pair of black jeans. I've had these for years. And then I have these two jackets, which I didn't include like warm jackets, but these usually I just wear as kind of part of my outfit for style, so I thought I should include them. This one is from Forever 21, and it's just a really fun statement piece. And then these two items are my bridesmaid dresses for some weddings coming up, so I'm gonna leave those in the bags. It'll be a surprise, but I put them out here because I do not want to forget to pack them. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of my favorite outfits from the capsule. I have to kind of lean to fully get in frame but I think you can see it all. Okay, so this skirt is from Clad and Cloth and I think I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot because it's super comfortable and we'll kind of go with everything. I got a lot of silk skirts, like I'm really into silk skirts apparently right now, but I think this one is cute with a white sweater or any of these just plain colored t-shirts. would be cute with this too. Okay, so this is another outfit I've been wearing all the time. Basically the same concept as the last one, just a sweater and a silk skirt. So I got a lot of silk skirts and a lot of sweaters because I feel like this is kind of the perfect combo for winter in California where I want to be kind of cozy, but then the skirts are still like really breezy so I don't get too warm. This probably isn't going to work as well when I'm in the Midwest and that's why I have basically like jeans, leggings, and pants. This headband I think is super fun with this sweater and it's actually a DIY. 
So I made a blog post about how to make these braided statement headbands. So I'll link that below in case you want to make one. There's also Urban Outfitters has a really cute one that's kind of this style. These are also from Clad and Cloth and they're really comfortable and I just think they're fun for winter. Just kind of like your classic black boot but then they are that super shiny patent material. They're like little rain boots which is nice for LA winter because this is the time of year that we get rain. Here is another super cozy outfit. This is probably one I'll wear a lot when I'm in the Midwest where it's cold. This sweater is from Angel Eye and it is seriously so warm. Like it's so cozy and warm and I think the off shoulder is really pretty and it just kind of folds over so you can decide exactly where you want it to sit. And then the material is thin enough that it's still kind of cute to tuck in. And these jeans I found at Crossroads and they are, I forgot what brand they are. Um, I'm just like leaning. I also got these. I also got these cute earrings from Crossroads. My dad said they kind of look like um shower curtain hooks, which I totally agree with, but I think they're super cute. They're just fun and um, acrylic kind of material. Okay, so obviously there's a lot more outfits. <laughs> I'm like kneeling. Okay, I'm just gonna kneel on the floor because <laughs> this is an awkward angle, but um, obviously there are a lot more outfits included in this capsule, but I just felt like it'd be kind of easier to look at photos rather than taking the time to watch a full video of every outfit. So I linked a blog post below where I took pictures of each item and like all the different combinations of how you compare things together. So if you want to check that out for more outfit ideas just from the pieces that I have, check out that blog post below. I feel like there's just so much to show you. It's kind of overwhelming to try to fit it all in one video. But hopefully you get the idea, hope you got inspired. Let me know below if you want me to do kind of a recap of this at the end of the three months too, to just see how it went. And I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do this like every three months or if this is just a one-time thing. But let me know what you guys thought, I'm curious. And I also just don't do like a ton of fashion videos, but I'm wondering if you wanna see more of them. So, happy new year. I hope you guys are all having a great start to the new year. And I'll see you